Right guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to paint the nice deep blue marble effect that you can see on the base of this Games Workshop Lord of the Rings elf miniature. Alright, so here are all the paints we're going to be using to get this effect. As you can see, we have a nice pile of blues here which we're going to use to create uh, the nice marble. We also have some white glaze made by Vallejo Model Color to get those extreme highlights. And we're also going to be using Secret Weapon Miniatures Realistic Water to create the high gloss effect, which is really going to bring this marble effect to life. As you can see, I begin by priming the base in black. And now I'm stippling on the first layer of blue paint, which is going to be Exile Blue. This is the darkest blue paint, and I'm using a piece of sponge to apply this. And as I said earlier, I'm just randomly stippling this onto the base to create an interesting textured effect. I'm going to build this blue up over many layers using different tones to create an interesting underlying texture, which is going to form the foundation of our marble effect. I'm just showing you here guys, this is the tool I'm using. You can see it's just a piece of ripped up sponge that I'm holding in a pair of tweezers. Now I apply the next layer of blue. This time we're using Signar Blue Base, again by Privateer Press. And we're just using the same method, using the piece of sponge to stipple randomly all over the surface. This being said, with these next layers, I'm being very careful to leave the previous layers of blue showing through because we really want those deep, dark tones of bluish black to show through in the end as this is going to give our marble lots of depth and visual interest. The final layer of stippled effects is done with Signar Blue Highlight. Again, I use the same method as the previous colours, uh, just stippling it on with my piece of sponge. Alright, so after we finish our stippling, this is what we've got. We've got some nice variations in colour tone here, and it really looks quite nice. So what we'll do now is we'll move on, we'll get a bit more precise, and we'll do some really detailed, fine highlights, which is really going to sell this marble effect. Now I'm coming in with Arcane Blue, which has thinned about two parts water to one part paint. And I'm just using a very fine brush to finally accentuate some of the brighter areas on the marble. Uh, you can see I'm just you know, carefully applying this. You saw there I actually wiped it away a couple of times with my finger because I felt that there was a bit too much paint on the surface. Um, you know, really it's very straightforward, just kind of dotting it. You don't want to be really neat and fancy here, and you really don't want to get very smooth transitions, unlike, you know, most normal painting, because, you know, marble, you're going to want those lines kind of in it. You want it to look a bit rough, like, you know, marble or stone. Uh, so, you know, don't overthink this, guys. Just kind of dot it in areas that you want to be a bit brighter. Um, the next thing, after we've you know done a little bit of this sort of stippling effect, is we're going to apply some wider sort of filters or washes of this using the same uh, dilution. What we're doing though is we're going to apply it fairly liberally, and what this will do is it'll result in the paint kind of drying in nasty rings, uh, which is exactly what we're normally trying to avoid. However, in this circumstance, we actually want to get that little kind of ring sort of area. You can particularly see here. Um, now I've got these little uneven sort of ring things going around and it really sells the effect of marble and it's super easy to do. So it's really quite straightforward as I've already said. Basically just get some of the lighter colour, just apply it in a large pool, allow it to dry and it will dry in this nice uneven ring which is what we're going for in this circumstance. The next thing we're doing, which we're starting to do here, is we're using some of the Vallejo White Glaze. We've thinned this out one to one with water and we're just using this to carefully accentuate some of the details which we painted in with the arcane blue. So again, we're just brightening up the effect and you know creating more interesting patterns. This is a very random kind of technique. I find a lot of people really overthink uh, painting marble. Uh, they're kind of worried about you know how they do different stuff. Really, it doesn't matter that much. Essentially, all you're doing is you're painting, I guess, really very messily. Uh, you're getting nasty lines and imperfections in your paint job, which actually looks very much like a really nice marble effect. It's really quite straightforward. Um, what I do here is I get quite a stylized effect. I almost get 
sort of like waves in the marble. Um, this may not be particularly realistic. Do keep in mind that, you know, marble effects, they always look different. There are always different styles. So, you know, there, there's no real right or wrong here. But um, you could do a more traditional kind of just lines in the marble to create more of an even effect. Uh, but like I said, in just in this example, I chose to do something a little bit different. The next stage is just to apply a glaze or a filter of Exile Blue. This has been thinned down about two parts paint, or sorry, two parts water to one part paint, so it's nice and transparent, and we're just applying a layer of this to tone back some of the highlights and to tie all of the layers of paint together. The final stage in creating our marble effect is to give our surface a coat of gloss. Uh, now to do this I like to use Secret Weapon Realistic Water as I find this gives it a thicker and glossier surface than just a standard gloss varnish does. Though by all means if you've just got gloss varnish lying around you could definitely use that. I know companies like Games Workshop and Vallejo produce this and it does work pretty well but like I've already said I prefer the water effects as again it gives a thicker kind of effect and I find that it gives more depth to the marble so that's just a personal preference sort of thing. As you can see here I'm applying it very thickly to the surface and I'm going to give it plenty of time to dry just so it gets a nice smooth and even finish. And as you can see, this is the end result. We have a lot of depth to the marble. We've got some nice highlights, some nice shades, and it really looks quite interesting. And, uh, you know, I quite like the end result. Uh, naturally, it's just my personal taste that enjoys this. Some people aren't as happy with this sort of effect and, you know, prefer the more traditional streaky looking marble, but I quite like it and uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in a later video.